and welcome back to Teacup Mammoth. I'm Robert, and this is Harold. Hello, otherwise known as Matt and Ben. I'm Ben, right? Yes. You are Ben, yes. Right, right, I'm sitting at this end, so that's, that's the Ben side. <laughs> it's the Ben side and the Matt side. Pip, pip. That's right. Ooh. And we are coming to you at this lovely Groundhog Day. From Groundhog Day? Is today Groundhog Day? Yeah. I don't even know that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm so with the times. Have you not done all your Groundhog shopping yet? I haven't done any Groundhog shopping. I am so screwed. Is your Groundhog tree not put up? No. Have you not made up a mighty bowl of hognog? <laughs> hognog sounds really gross. <laughs> it's like a classy version of pork soda. Oh. <laughs> Today's episode of Teacup Man brought to you by <laughs> Hog Nog. <laughs> when you're done working in the fields on Groundhog Day, enjoy a nice refreshing glass of Hog Nog. <laughs> Made in the mighty state of Delaware. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Delawareans and their Hog Nog. Oh yeah, it's their state beverage. <laughs> You, you, it's, it's usually a local thing, you can't get it everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, it's has you have to import it out of Delaware. Mm -hmm. The hognog. The pride <laughs> of Wilmington. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's gonna be our Delaware landmark. The, uh, the hognog brewery and hognog <laughs> plant. <laughs> oh my they got like God. a giant beer bottle. <laughs> Shaped like... <laughs> groundhog. Like groundhog. Groundhog. <laughs> or like it's the beer bottle and the groundhog's like hugging it as if he is in love with it. It's a, you can get the groundhog cozies for your hognog bottle. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. It's made from real groundhog. And he's like, he's bought tooth so you can use it as a bottle. Oh, no, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Open up that hognog. Man, now I'm sad that's not a real thing. Uh, Nowhere. Get on the ball with this. We need some hog knock. Yeah, come on. Even if it's gross, just make it happen. Especially if it's gross. Yeah. More for us. <laughs> right. You know we'll like it. <laughs> Going for the hog knock. Yeah. Oh, man. That's <laughs> gross. It's real gross. What, um, what else you been doing lately? I don't know. This and that. Um, that and this. Yep. Knitting ridiculous things. Yeah. Jean made me a sock. Just one? Well, <laughs> she was, she, it was the first, like, four he, He's a, he's a, she's missing a basic understanding of human anatomy for you here. She got, like, this big sock jag, and she's like, alright, got my book on sock knitting, and knit a sock. And it turned out too big for her foot, so I'm like, here, Ben, I made you this sock. And it's cool, because it's not like she made it all pink or something. <laughs> it's one like, sock. This is great. Is she gonna make she, you the, the, the she she just finished the other one. Okay. So for about a week and a half, it's like a real good winter sock. I'd be stomping around the house and like it and another random sock and be like, thanks honey. My right foot is thirty seven percent more homey and comfortable to, than the you other. You have to switch them like every fifteen minutes just to Well it's, they kinda of start wearing in. Oh. So she finally finished me another one. If she made it big enough, you could have put both feet in and hop around. <laughs> hop <the> around. <laughs> <laughs> that frightened the dog for a bit. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you hopping around the house? <laughs> is it dog? because of something? I, I know. know. Your, your dog is so weenie. <laughs> you have a really scaredy dog. He's got he's got winter seasonal emotion disorder thing. Started, just winter time? Yeah, he started chewing on his butt. <laughs> oh. Like, not his butt in the other region, but like the upper, yeah, above yeah, the yeah, tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sure he doesn't have a, 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 a condition? No, his condition is he's a spaz. <laughs> Every winter, around the New Year's, he gets nervous and he starts <laughs> chewing on his butt. Maybe he's worried he hasn't fulfilled his New Year's resolutions and he's like, I don't have a lot of time left! I'm he's... supposed to be a Pegasus by now! <laughs> I was supposed to be the head of a magic corporation. <laughs> I was going to get my doctorate. <laughs> my dog chews anyways, but it's not because she's nervous. <laughs> well, that's good. If you get chew, then you should do it wholeheartedly and without reservations. I like taking my dog over your house just because it freaks Virgil out. <laughs> Everything freaks I'm Virgil out. Nice. <laughs> I'm a mean guy. <laughs> Want to freak out Virgil? <laughs> 
Well, it's kind of fun. He freaks out in a very photogenic way. Man, photogenic way. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. I went over to my dad's house today. Uh -huh. I thought about taking the dog with me, but she, um, <laughs> you know, for a, a year, couple of years, she lived over there mm -hmm. at my parents' house, and he had an electric fence up for the two dogs. Mm -hmm. um, and um, <laughs> she got zapped real good a couple times with uh -huh. the electric fence. You know, I mean, it was a... It was like an invisible fence. Yeah, the underground collar. Yeah, but she wore a collar. And uh, she was depressed when she was living over there because she got zapped and she wouldn't walk around. And so <laughs> the finger of God was just randomly smiting her. Yeah, I know. She didn't like it at all. <laughs> but uh, I, I, uh, 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 well, the first time my wife and I took her back over there, <laughs> she jumped out of the truck, ran up to my dad, said, hey, and then looked around and realized she where she was. <laughs> And turned around and ran and jumped back in the truck. It wouldn't come out of the truck. Aww. <laughs> I know. That's sad. Isn't that what you're supposed to do if there's a thunderstorm? <laughs> yeah. Stay in the truck? I run into the truck. Um, and then another time we took her over there. And I was over at Dad's house for, uh, my dad's house for a long while. I've taken her over a bunch of times. She's getting a little better. That's good. But the second time I took her, I was over there. And... You know, there's no fence or nothing, but I know she's not going to run off. And if she does wander a bit, she comes when I call her or whistle for her. Um, so, I'm inside the house hanging out with Dad. I think Dad, I think I was playing video games with Dad. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, so, um, I go to leave and I go back out to the front porch. And she's not on the front porch, so I start whistling for her. And she's not coming around. I'm like, where did she go? So, I go to walk around the house, and I found her on the side of the house. She had wandered to the back of the house, and then came around, and then wouldn't come any further. She stopped at the line where the fence was, <laughs> and she wouldn't cross it. And she's not wearing a collar. She was she just... doesn't know that. Dogs have a I, I know. So it's like a one-way valve for her. She was able to walk in, and then <laughs> when she came to come out, she goes, I can't come out. Something's going to hurt me. So I had to go over and pick her up and carry her out. Which makes it sound like she's a tiny dog. She's not. She's a German Shepherd. I had to pick up my Shepherd and carry her out of the backyard of the house so that I could take her home. <laughs> See, with Virgil, we don't even need an invisible fence because he randomly becomes terrified of certain boundaries anyway. <laughs> oh no, linoleum! I can't walk Wait, over Wait, that's that. right! Is he still scared of linoleum? When he remembers to be. <laughs> like, if, he, if you've had him out on a walk, you'll bring him back. And like, especially if the other dogs are out in the yard, you open up the kitchen door, and they'll be like, yeah, yeah, come on. But sometimes if he's just been out there by himself, he'll be like, hey, Virg, come on in. And he's like, wait, I'm terrified of this, aren't I? He'll run around to the other side of the house, so you have to let him in through the other door. Well, go. <laughs> are you sure it's a linoleum? I mean, it's, like, it's he, not like, he won't go the other way either? Like, he'll go through it the other way. It's, it's like a one-way dog gate. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't trust the door. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just a door, it's not even like caltrops or anything. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's spoiled is what it is. Yeah, he doesn't have anything real to worry about. If we got him a sheep, <laughs> he could hurt it. Or look at it in a concern. He wouldn't, he wouldn't hurt a sheep, he'd be scared of it. <laughs> You're right. It's too fuzzy. <laughs> what is it? Oh my gosh! I don't know what it is. I feel like I should know what to do, but I don't, and I feel angsty. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you have a weird dog. Yeah, we've always had weird dogs. When I was a kid, we had a dog, and we were too poor to afford uh, an electric fence. So whenever the dog ran out of the yard, I'd have to chase him down and make him lick a nine volt battery. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> Did you have a dog before uh, Chance? Yeah, we had Harry. You had a dog named Harry? Yeah. Was it a hairy dog? Well, he was like one, some kind of weird ass bald supervillain dog. <laughs> that would be the most epic of ironic <laughs> names if he had a bald dog. A dog, Curly Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was furry, definitely, but he wasn't like a walking carpet. I don't think I never met that dog. He. I think we got rid of him after. Before I was in middle school and we met him because yeah. he went insane and bit my mom and really yeah that was that for him way to bring us down sorry <laughs> it's okay my parents said they they sent him off to the butterfly farm oh good where, where he could frolic with other dogs in the country the butterfly farm is definitely a good man yeah place for a dog I think yeah yeah 
Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and on that lovely note, I think we've been to the end of this episode of Teacup Mammoths. Yep. Thank you for watching. And uh, enjoy a refreshing <laughs> glass of hognog. That's right. If you like what you saw, please give us a like. Please subscribe. If you don't like what you saw, feel free to complain, but make sure you do it in an entertaining way. Or to somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Pit pit. <laughs>